I'm going to share with you some tips of how to prepare for a bicycle trip of long duration. First, you need to get a bicycle, obviously. We got this tandem bicycle, which is for two persons. When we first bought it, we had to put it in the car of a friend and make some adjustments. Then you need to get helmets of your size, not only for bringing it on your head, but it's also useful for collecting wild fruits on the road. Excellent. Once you have your bicycle and are ready to go, then you have to design your route. First, look in the map, where do you want to go? Find the little roads. In our case, we wanted to go along the coast of the Mediterranean, along Spain, cross the Pyrenees through France, cross Italy, and then take a boat to Greece. Uh, cross Greece by bicycle, cross to Athens, and then take a ferry to Santorini, one of the most wonderful Greek islands. You also have to do a chart, uh, organizing all the route, the details of every place where you're going to be, and organize all the information you need. I recommend you to bring the less as possible, because everything accumulates weight, and you want to go as light as possible. These are the four bags called panniers that are attached to the bicycle and you can bring all your luggage with you. We made a diagram with all the things we need to bring on each bag. In the little bags in the front of the handlebars you can bring a sunblock, sunglasses, the bottles of water and shoes you want to also know if you're going to bring your laptop consider everything because it's like your house these are the two sizes of bag and we see in this drawing how much we can fit inside in one of them we have uh, rain gear, sleeping bag, clothes and the other we have food, knife, toiletries the big space where it says food is for filling when you arrive in a new town you want to fill it with food you buy for traveling you eat it and then you have that free space for filling it again now the water bottles and we also show what we fit in the small bags like pillow mat sleeping bag in the other ones i have clothes string gear feather jacket laptop and in the center we see two little bags where you can fit your sunglasses, your hat, your keys, your camera, sunglasses, wallet. This green is our tent that we attach it in the back. The red bags are the big ones and they were attached to the wheels in the back. The bottles of water in the middle. This is a portable chair that we made. Here you can see how it works. And the yellow bags are small and go into the wheel of the front. Yeah, the bicycle came with very nice things. This is your This is my seat that I bought for 10 euros. It is important to have a comfortable seat for women. The seat with a hole in the center and cushion it but not too soft is good. When rather a hard leather one which he said it's very good. Packing the bike is not all. You also have to pack the things that you're not taking with you and leave them in storage. From those things you're taking, you have to make a space in your room, set up all the things, display all the things you want to take, and from there you start taking things 
that are not indispensable and reduce it and reduce it the most possible and again reduce it until you have only the things that are essential and fit in your bags. This is a bike already um, packed with all the things ready to depart. Here I show you in movement all the things we need already carrying them on the bike the little bags on the handlebars uh, we carry snacks, headphones I'm wearing boots but you can also wear sandals depending on your needs and the weather you can also bring a big chain and a lock in case you're in a city and you want to lock your bike to a post or somewhere where you don't want it to be stolen and also you need to bring tools they're basic in case you're, you have a flat tire you need to repair it in the side of the road yeah it's okay more will break though if we break two more three more then we'll have to worry mm. okay in fact at this point it's probably safest just to take a train Fortunately, we didn't have to take the train and we were able to fix it. Sometimes, also in a city, you can continue and there is no place where you can put air to the tires. And something that is also useful is the smartphone. Ponte, que tal os... You can also use a traditional paper map, like this guy who was cycling next to us for a while. Also, it's very important that you drink lots of water, you bring as much bottles as you can and keep refilling them. You can also bring an inflatable pillow. clothes for all kinds of weather because if it's a long trip you can find snow you can need rain gear for rain and wind a protection and clothes for hot weather as well sometimes you end up in a beach where there's nothing and something you should always bring is your tent because maybe you want to sleep there so this is your house make it portable, lightweight and that it works in all kinds of weather if it's hot, if it's cold if you're in the beach or if you're in a cave that it works in different environments here in Italy we stay in this incredible giant cave it was wonderful you need also clothes for cycling two sets or at least one and clothes for doing some kind of exercise besides this cycling I do yoga for example this yoga mat is super lightweight thin and good for traveling with it's very useful it's also useful for when you're in the middle of the road and you don't have a place to sit and put all your stuff and a paper map is also important to bring because sometimes there's no sign now for your f mobile phone and this is going to be so helpful swimming suit is also very useful when you stop in the middle of the road and you want to jump into the sea it is great also I always bring a sketchbook to do my nomad journals, my sketches, I bring pens, pencils, and I also bring a watercolor set to do my paintings and bring your memories with you. A sleeping bag and a bag where you can compress it very small and an inflatable mat, a flashlight that you can attach in the front of your helmet because it is Sometimes it's night time and you cannot see, so it's very useful. Okay. 
This is the flashlight I use. It's a little bit heavy, but it's very good. It has this clip that you can attach to your helmet. It has four different levels of intensity. If you hold it, it changes the intensity. And it has double click and it gives you moonlight for reading. The batteries are rechargeable. An external battery that is also useful to recharge your phone when you're in the middle of the road. This is for recharging the battery during the night. It lasts several hours of charge during the day. This is a very useful plug with two USB entrances. I use it for iPhone and iPad. I can charge it both at the same time and they charge in half of the time. You can fold its legs. You can bring all these things. It's an adapter, depending on the country you're going. Bringing a laptop is very important if you're a digital nomad that you, like us, have to do your work while you travel. We also use a lot of couch surfing. So if you want to communicate with your host, who is going to receive you in the next town, registering all their information, all the things you need. Another thing I want to recommend is this inflatable lamp that has a solar cell you can recharge it outside of your house once it's inflated it looks like this it is super lightweight you can hang it it has three levels of light i love it every day on the bike you need to think about food that brings you a lot of food energy and that is easy to take it out and eat it while you're pedaling. Some of my favorite things are fruit, cookies or crackers and oat burgers made with oats, eggs, cilantro, onions. Also, sometimes you eat in restaurants. Oh my goodness, the name of the bar. Yeah. Terrible. Cheers. Sometimes you have to eat on the side of the road wherever you're hungry. That was on Tantrini. And it's recommended to bring all your kit, your knife to cut your veggies, uh, cutting board. We use something very thin. I just want to put in the video that we cook our meals in the road. This is a bag with a lot of compartments for our spices. Some, uh, I always bring a plastic bottle for olive oil, a little stove with alcohol, it's very portable, you can heat your food everywhere, then you close it in the same container, there is a bowl and the pan, they become plates and the stove goes inside, it's very portable lightweight. This you can find in stores uh, that sell things for sports, mountaineering, camping. This is our food bag. You have to organize everything well, close everything very well, compress the bags, and also clean all your tools, your kitchen tools. Bring napkins, gel for the hands. This is our silverware, our packing, everything. I'm important. I need to be in this video. Caves are places that are good for camping. You have to evaluate the land, check if it's an adequate place for setting up your tent. Where did the contents go? The what? The contents. Who took the contents? Once you find the ideal place to put your tent, you have to do it before it gets dark and set up your stuff in the right place where there's not a lot of people passing, that the food is very well packed so that it doesn't attract animals. Uh, 
that come in the night. Sometimes you find a place where you can make a fire and cook your food and there's a floor made of concrete or something like in this case where this man Nandos is part of his house in the outdoors to make our camping. Sometimes there's also tables and chairs as in this central plaza of this little village in Spain. This will sound a little crazy, but we were carrying a little pot with a plant, a cucumber plant, with the fancy that it will grow and feed us. Imagine this with plants and cucumbers hanging around the bike. It was symbolic of the spirit of traveling without consuming gasoline and eating natural food. Don't forget to bring your rain jacket, very lightweight, because it can rain anytime. Also rain trousers and to put plastic around your bike seat, otherwise you end up all wet. And plastic to grab your bike when you bring it on the airport, because you have to remove everything and pack it in a big plastic to protect it. Helmets, you wear them on the head inside the airplane. Here we're receiving our bike. We have to set it up again, inflate all the tires, put all the bags and go. Here we're riding on the airport until you notice something weird and you notice something's not working properly. Then you have to put it upside down, adjust it because obviously in the airplane it was disadjusted and once it's ready it's time to go